Hey everyone, Ivan here. In this video, we're going to talk about traveling to the Philippines from the United States of America as of August 2021. Since the lockdown officially starts this week, we're going to talk about whether you're still allowed to travel and what are the requirements before flying to the Philippines. We are also going to discuss what is the process when you arrive, what are the procedures for individuals that are already fully vaccinated, how many days you should book for your hotel, and other stuff regarding your hotel quarantine. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, right off the bat, I know most of you are here to know whether your flights are canceled or not. So the answer is no, the flights are not canceled to the Philippines. So according to Philippine Airlines, as of July 30, international and domestic flights to and from Manila shall continue operating during the ECQ and heightened GCQ periods subject to compliance with the travel restrictions related to travel protocols, unless the airline sent you an email that your flight is canceled. Now that is cleared, let's talk about who is not allowed to travel to the Philippines. If you are flying from any of these countries, you are automatically not allowed to travel to the Philippines. So the first one is going to be India, next one is Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Oman, UAE, Indonesia, and Thailand. However, uh, in some special cases, you can still arrive in the Philippines if you're coming from these countries under the repatriation program. Alright, now let's talk about who is allowed to travel to the Philippines from the United States. So, of course, number one is the Filipino national. So, meaning if you currently have a Filipino passport, you are considered a Filipino national and you are allowed to travel to the Philippines. So, next one's gonna be the dual citizens or former Filipinos. If you have a US passport and a Philippine passport, whether it's expired or not, then you are allowed to travel. And lastly, are the US citizens or the non Filipinos. This is pretty basic. If you have a US passport, then you are allowed to travel to the Philippines since the United States is one of the countries whose nationals are allowed to enter the Philippines without a visa. All right, now let's talk about the vaccination. To travel to the Philippines, it doesn't matter if you're fully vaccinated or not. If you are, as I mentioned earlier, then you are allowed to travel to the Philippines. The only difference is how long you're going to stay in your hotel quarantine. So yes, you still have to do a hotel quarantine even though you are already fully vaccinated when you arrive in the Philippines. So here's a simple flowchart I made. Basically, this explains how many days you should book for your hotel quarantine. So if you are not fully vaccinated, automatically you have to book for a 10-day hotel quarantine. And if you are fully vaccinated and you're coming from a green list country, then you have to book a 7-day hotel quarantine. So what is a green list country? The green list countries are a list of countries that are classified by the IATF as low risk countries or territories. So meaning these are countries that has low risk or low cases of COVID-19. So in short, since this video is about traveling to the Philippines from the United States, the answer is you have to book a 10-day hotel quarantine since the United States is not part of the green list countries. And the reason why is because the United States has one of the highest cases of COVID-19 in the world. Alright, now let's talk about the things you need to do before flying. Assuming that you already have a ticket, the first thing you need to do is book for your hotel quarantine. I would say to do this at least a month before your flight, so that way you have enough time to look for other options or if you want to make some changes. I'll put the link below for all the accredited hotels in Manila. I also made a video about our hotel experience from our vacation last month, so if you want to check that out, I'll put the link up here. So some questions that a lot of you are asking about the hotel. Number one is, are you allowed to go outside your room? The answer is no. That's why it's called a quarantine. Can you order food outside? Yes, but it has to be a food that was home cooked, so no fast foods. Uh, can partners or spouses be in the same room? Yes, you just have to sign a waiver when you arrive at the hotel. Next one is, how much are the hotel costs? It depends. But the cheapest one can range around 1500 to 3500 pesos or uh, roughly $30 to $75. And that already includes three meals per day. And also hotel transportation is additional cost. All right, next question is how will I pay? You can use your credit card to pay for the reservation uh, for the amount of at least one night. And then you can pay the rest when you arrive at the hotel. 
All right, so the next thing you need to do is download and register to the Trace app. Basically, it's a contact tracing app. Once you're done, it will generate a QR code. This will be used when you arrive at the uh, Terminal 1 or Terminal 2. All right, the next thing you need to do is register to the Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ Health Declaration card. You can do this online. It will generate another QR code as well, so it's going to be scanned when you arrive in the Philippines. And then if you're flying with Philippine Airlines as early as three days before your flight, you have to register to the PAL electronic investigation form and save the confirmation email and QR code. You can do this online as well. So basically, you should have three QR codes when you arrive in the Philippines. The first one is going to be the Trace app. The second one is going to be the BOQ health declaration card. And the last one is going to be the PAL electronic investigation form. Or the last thing you need to do before flying is download and accomplish the affidavit of undertaking that will be submitted upon arrival in the Philippines. Basically, it's a form where you agree that you are voluntarily doing a hotel quarantine when you arrive in the Philippines. All right, now let's talk about when you arrive in the Philippines. All right, when you arrive, you just have to present the BOQ card that I mentioned earlier. It's just gonna be scanned. For some cases, if a passenger doesn't have a QR code like our senior citizens, it's okay, you don't have to worry about it. Someone will help you to get you a QR code. Then after that, you can proceed to the help desk. This is where they will confirm your hotel and transportation. You just have to present a copy of your hotel reservation and fill up some paperwork with all your information. And then after that, you can proceed to the swab verification booth. This is where you will schedule your swab test and you can also pay for your RT-PCR. As I'm making this video, the cost for the swab test is 3,500 pesos or roughly around $70. If you are a senior citizen or a person with disability, discounts apply as well. And you can pay either by cash or card. So as a note for non-Filipinos, you must present a photocopy of your passport and a proof of accommodation or uh, residence in the Philippines. So once you're done paying for your swab test, the next thing to do is clear immigration and submit the arrival card. After you clear the immigration, you can now claim your baggage and contact your hotel transportation. And lastly, once you're ready to go out, you just have to give your affidavit of undertaking to one of the coast cards by the exit. Once you give it out, they're gonna let you outside. All right, now let's talk about arriving at the hotel. So once you arrive at the hotel, that's where you're gonna pay the remaining bill. And then you can now just relax and wait for your scheduled swab test. Since you're gonna be in a 10 day quarantine, your scheduled swab test should be on the seventh day. Uh, you will get an email like around the fifth day or third day uh, just to confirm your location. And then on the ninth day, you will receive your swab test through email. If you test it out negative, then you are free to go on your 10th day. And then after that, you can have someone pick you up. So yeah, that's pretty much it traveling to the Philippines from the United States as of August 2021. To be honest, based on my experience, the process arriving in the Philippines was actually pretty clear and smooth. So shout out to all the workers at Naia Terminal 1. And hopefully the government won't extend another two weeks of lockdown because, you know, that way your vacation won't be useless. If yes, then, you know, I will make another update for that one. If you have more questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm going to answer them one by one. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.